Hey there, it's Thursday, July 18th, and today's title is Sabbath, Rest for the Land. As we have seen, Sabbath was an ingrained part of the life cycle of the Israelite nation. But Sabbath principle was not just about a day each week. It also included a special rest each seventh year, culminating in a year of Jubilee. After seven sets of seven years, meaning each 50th year, the Sabbath year allowed the farmland to follow for the year. It is a remarkable act of stewarding the land, and the wisdom of this as an agricultural practice has been recognized widely. The seventh year was also significant for the slaves. In the event that any of the Israelites became so indebted as to sell themselves into slavery, they were to be freed in the seventh year. Similarly, outstanding debts were to be canceled at the end of the seventh year. Like the manna God provided to the Israelites in the wilderness, not planting crops for a season was an act of trust that God would provide enough in the previous year and from what the ground produced by itself in the Sabbath year. Similarly, to release slaves and cancel debts was an act of mercy, but also an act of trust in the power of God to provide for our needs. In a sense, the people needed to learn that they didn't have to oppress others in order to provide for themselves. The principles and patterns of the Sabbath were to be closely tied to the structure of the Israelite society as a whole. Similarly, contemporary Sabbath keeping should be a spiritual discipline that transforms all our other days. In a practical sense, the Sabbath is one way of living out Jesus' instructions to seek first His kingdom. Your Heavenly Father already knows your needs, and He will give you everything you need. Matthew 6, 32 and 33. What difference should keeping the Sabbath make to the other six days of your week? After all, if you are greedy, selfish, and uncaring from Sunday through Friday, what does it really matter if you are none of these things on the Sabbath? Or truly, can you not be those things on the Sabbath if you're, the rest, if you're that way the rest of the week? And it's true. So let us think about it, answer in the comment section, and continue to pray for our ministry and get ready for the Sabbath tomorrow evening. God bless you, and we'll see you right back here later.